Okay, this is building the flying machine, installing the nose cone and the streamer on the strap-on boosters. So in our last video, uh, we had glued in the engine mount into the strap-on booster tubes. Um, I want to take the shock cord, because it was coming out the back right now, I'm going to thread it through so that it comes out the front. Take it, go down to the front, pull it all the way through like that. Okay, you're going to do that to both of them. Um, I'll just do that later. You just, you're going to do this step twice because we're doing two of them. Um, next, we're going to take the nose cone and the plastic shoulder, and that's going to get glued in there like that. Um, you can either use plastic model cement or super glue. I'm using thick super glue for this. You just run a bead of glue either on the outside or the inside edge of the shoulder. That's probably way too much glue. I'm kind of wipe, wiping it off on the inside so that when it hardens, it's on the inside and it doesn't ooze out like it did there. So yeah, then you have to wipe that off. Like that. Now I noticed that this shoulder had a little piece of plastic stuck in the slot. Just knock that out. Should come out pretty easy. There, like that. That's the way it should look open. We're going to take that and we're going to take the, the shot cord and we're going to tie it to that loop there. Now if you want, um, you can put a little bit of, of wood glue on that knot. I always like to do that, just to make sure that that knot doesn't come undone. It's a little bit too much glue. Just wipe it in there. I always wipe it on the, on the edge, on this excess piece too. So that stiffens that up. Um, eventually I can cut that off if it gets in the way. Okay, so that's one of them. You'll do that to both. And we're going to take the streamer, and it's just rolled up with a little rubber band. And we're going to unroll it. Uh, we only need the end there, like that. And we're going to take a piece of strapping tape. Now, this is clear tape. It's not cellophane tape. This stuff is a lot stronger. But you know, you, you, when, this is the stuff you use to tape up boxes. And you want to take a piece and I got about three inches there. That's like way too much. Um, so I'm going to cut it. So now the sticky side is facing up. And I'm just going to cut off the piece that has the teeth marks on it. And I only need probably about an inch piece. Okay, so there's an inch piece. I'm going to take the end of the streamer and just lay it on the tape. Try to get it on straight. So half of the tape is on the streamer and half of it is still free. And then take the nose cone and I want to go back about three inches. And I want to lay that right along the edge of the streamer on the tape and then take the tape and then just fold it over the top and press it down. And now the streamer is attached. And that's it. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, so now I'll just roll up the streamer and I'm going to shove everything inside the tube. Take the shock cord, roll it up. Get it off my finger. Come on. And push it in. And push the streamer in afterwards. And just make sure that it doesn't come out of that slot right there. 
and the reason we put the streamer so far down was so that it could clear that slot so that it's not in the way of that slot there like that just like that so that's one I'll do the other one and in the next video we'll attach these to the core tube of the rocket we're in the middle of the construction of the flying machine rocket and we're going to attach the strap-on booster pods to the rocket core itself um, I only need the bottom part so I'm going to remove the tape that I had holding the parts together and I'm just going to take that off for now and set it aside um, there are four hooks these big ones here are the forward hooks and these smaller ones are the aft hooks and the aft hooks the um, slanted edge goes towards the front of the rocket and these are glued on first so this is the rocket and we're going to glue it right here along this line here for the pod remember we had marked it for the pod and the back hook gets positioned right in the middle of the line and so the back edge is flush with the back edge of the tube and to glue these in place I'm just going to use thick super glue and I'll just put some on the bottom smear it around a bit so that it covers the whole surface and then put it back in the position that I want it in All right, and I just, oops, when you get it to where you want it, press it in, in place. It's hard to do this upside down. Okay, and then do the same with the other one on the other side. Now it's important to put these on first, and you'll see why in just a second. Okay, now while that's setting up, we're going to take the strap on booster pod and if you take the nose cone off, you'll notice that it has a slot. Now that slot has to be oriented so it's in line with this slot. So after you push everything back in, you'll line it up like that. And I don't know if you can see it through there, but they're together. And then you're going to take one of the hooks, turn it upside down, and lay it along the tube. See now the back edge of this piece of wood goes against the back edge of the little hook and it just drops in there like that and then you're going to push the nose cone on and basically what happens is that slot captures it. Um, so th that little hook is actually inside the nose cone like about right there. If you can see that. But that's what's going on inside of there. So then to put it on the rocket, on the back edge, there's a little notch. And on the hook, there's also a little notch. And you'll slide it into the plastic piece. For some reason, it doesn't want to catch. There it goes. And then it's going to catch on a little notch on the back side there. You can't see it, but that's what's happening. And on the front, what we're going to do is we're going to glue it down like right here. So to glue it down, we have to have it in, in place. Then we're going to put glue on the bottom, and then we're going to walk it down along the tube. And then looking through the sides and at the, the front, line it up with the line on the tube that we had made earlier. And that's how this gets glued in place and that's why it's important to put the back one on first so you have the distance correct between the back and the front. Now when you um, push it down you'll notice that it, it slides around a little bit. You don't want to push it back so hard that it's butting up against the wood 
Just let it float a little bit. And that's going to be the right distance. So I'm going to put glue on the bottom of this. Okay, I'm going to put the back edge in. And then I'm walking it down along the tube. And I'm going to push it into place. Okay, and then I can, once it catches, I'm going to carefully remove the nose and I can lift it off and I can just double check to make sure that it's along the line. And that is how easy it is to put these on. Now if you notice any gaps along the edge, um, you can go ahead and fill them with super glue. Just run a, like a fillet around the outside. Mine are actually pretty good on this one because I cheated because I sanded the bottoms. To sand the bottoms, you just take a piece of sandpaper, you wrap it around the tube, and then just slide it back and forth so that it matches the, the, the curvature. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, um, but that's how you attach the strap-on boosters to the rocket. So now, push everything inside. Now you'll just feel where that, where that little notch is. The hard part is keeping the shock cord on the inside. There it is. Now it's locked in place and it can't go anywhere because I'm, you know, I'm sh shaking it around like this. So that's how it's supposed to work. So this is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. We are building the flying machine model rocket from Apogee Components. Our website is www.apogeerockets.com. If you like this video, uh, go to YouTube and click the thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you can leave them on the comments below the video or come to the Apogee website. We'll be happy to answer your questions.